this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about the one question you need to ask when you use an app builder. All right, so today I want to answer a question that came in like three weeks ago from Leonardo Hanau. Uh, Leonardo says, Hey Eric, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Sorry for my English. I have a question for you. Currently, I have three interesting apps in terms of downloads and positioning. Unfortunately, I have created them in a builder. I say unfortunately because now I would like to buy an application and update the APK with this new app. But the developers tell me that it is impossible for the firm that should provide the builder. And effectively, they do not give me the signature. The question is, there will be something I could do to create a new application and thus not lose the positioning and the volume of downloads that I currently have. I hope you can answer me. I remain attentive. Thank you. Okay, so Leonardo. Ooh. I'm afraid I don't have very good news for you. Now, if you've never created an Android app before, you may not know what the key store file is. And the key store file is a unique digital signature which you generate on your computer and you sign every application that you put live with. So it's really crucial that you keep that key store file and protect it with your life. We always put it in source code control so we never, ever, ever lose it. Because if you talk to a developer who's lost one before, they will tell you some horror stories and I happen to be one of those developers. So one of the first applications we ever did, we lost a key store file after the first version was released. It was called Time Goal. It wasn't very good. I don't talk about it very often. It was like the third application we did. And the developers had, had done it, released it. And for the first time, I spent quite a bit of money on marketing. I thought this time I'm gonna do it right. And then we had to make a few changes and release version 1.1. And then the developers tell me, we can't, we've lost the key store file, right? Nobody knows what happened to it. I think it was just accidentally deleted or it was on a computer of one of the developers who had left, but we had to release a second version and we couldn't update it. We had to go through and create an entire second version, give it a new name, a new package name, every link that linked to the Play Store, all the marketing that I'd done was useless. None of it was any good anymore. This is how important the key store file is. And this is why you have to protect it. And the reason for the key store file is to make sure that nobody goes through and creates an update to your application who is not the developer. It's there to protect you, it's a security measure. And theoretically, every single Android application should have a unique, different key store file, but sometimes developers are lazy and they compile a lot of their applications with the same key store file. I know this because I've done this too. Some of my applications still, they share the same key store file between them, which I know is not good practice, but it's something that I've done. And this is the problem with using app builder software. Not all app builders, but some of them. Sometimes you go with an app builder and they can't give you the key store file. Now when I use the term app builder, I'm talking about the services that allow you to create an application without writing any code. All you have to do is pay a subscription like $20 a month or something like that. There's different ones and you use a drag and drop editor with a website and create an application and it will compile it for you and give you the executable which you can upload to the Play Store or to the App Store. And we don't use builders with Overpass, but I have nothing against them. In fact, sometimes we have a client come to us and I will recommend that they try it out on an app builder first because it's a good way to test the market. It's a really good way to see if people are searching for the application that you want to release. The problem is when it comes, like if it really takes off and you want to do something that the app builder doesn't allow, then you're going to need to release a second version of it or an enhanced version of it. And if you can't get access to that key store file, then you're kind of screwed. So there are a lot of really good app builder platforms out there. There's Appy Pie, there's Good Barber, there's Siberian CMS, there's business apps. In fact, there's new ones all the time and they're always getting better and better. 
And in some ways, I'm a little bit jealous of them, to be honest with you. As an app developer, I wonder if the drag and drop interface where you could just go on and build an application and have it compile everything for you will take over the role of app developers. But there's a huge problem with them with in that they can only be so flexible, right? They can only anticipate what you're gonna want so, so far. But for those of you who are thinking about getting into the app market and you don't have a lot of money to spend, they are a great way to test out the market and to get something out there. But the one question you need to ask before you commit to going with one of these platforms is, if I need to move on, will I be able to get my key store file back? If there's one thing I want you to take away from this video, if you're gonna build an app, make sure you get access to the key store file. Now I said before how the developers had lost my key store file before, but it wasn't really their fault. It was my fault. It was my responsibility to make sure that that thing was backed up and kept up to date. And that is like gold. So even if you get, even if you don't use an app builder software and you hire developers to do it, make sure you get that key store file. You don't have that same kind of problem with Apple. With Apple, you could always re-sign it. You could download a certificate again, re-sign it. But with the uh, with Android, you have to make sure you don't lose it. Anyway, I want to ask those of you guys out there who are developers: Have you ever lost your key store file, and what was that like? I mean, was it was it difficult? Were you able to recover it? Were you able to get those users back? And for those of you guys who have used app builder software before, have you been in a situation where the platform wasn't able to do something that you wanted to do or you wanted to move on and you couldn't? Anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again next time.